Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Diana jungle consistently and that is by abusing Nasher because Nasher very OP for Diana. Two main reasons. Number one, Nash OP. Number two, Diana passive does 300% bonus damage against monsters. So having that extra attack speed lets us pinch off more passive hits. It's every third auto does big AOE damage and yeah, very spicy. So we're just keeping watch right now against the cane. We're going to go ahead and get a ward down. I do plan on ganking a lot early on, so I am going to go ahead and get an early oracles. Diana doesn't need a potion. If you're going to play your super frontline heavy because you're the only frontline on your team, you need green jungle item. If you're not the primary frontline on your team, you should just go for the red one instead for the slow. Helps you to stay on top. Ghost has a higher win rate than flash, so we have ghost instead. I also prefer ghost. Its crate potential is much higher off kills and assists. You get extensions and then you can kill everybody. Diana's level 2, you need to try to stagger your abilities for her passive. After using an ability for the next 3 seconds, you get extra attack speed. That is the other half of her passive. I guess I don't even need to smite this. It's already almost dead. That leash was kind of spicy. Go ahead and get our W now. We're going to wait till our passive wears off, then we'll use it again. You can see when it's wearing off right here above your abilities most important at level two to kind of keep an eye on it so here it's staggered really well by the time our q ends and our w is back up perfect and then when you're level three you honestly don't have to think about it too much then you just want to make sure you never put your e on full cooldown against your monster camps because the full cooldown on e is 20 seconds if you go for your e level two you'll end up taking way too much damage that's why you have to go for w W keeps you healthy. Got our E now. We'll go ahead and Q on in. Pop the W. Very nice. Go ahead and E. You want to E before your Q ends. Your Q only marks a target for three seconds, which is the same as your passive. So your passive is a perfect indicator of when your starlight will end. And we can go over walls, of course. Your Q gives you vision of champions and large monsters. We'll go ahead and just go right over. Sure, we didn't stagger it the best since we had to go over kind of immediately there, but it's fine. We were just trying to get in. This was a full clear. 3 minute 10 on Diana. No potion, and we still have a smite charge. If we'd used smite, we would have finished closer to 3-6. 3 10 is pretty fast, so most junglers finish around 3-30. I have my shield. Auto attack QE. Auto. I'm gonna eat to him. And we're on ghost extensions here, so we're chilling. I'm literally on ghost extensions. My ghost lasts longer than his here. I have this plant to escape to as well. He's not catching anything. I wait a moment and we get it. Easy peasy. So I love ghost, man. If I had flash, I'd die there. I have no way to escape. Kench ghosts me down and I die. I have red buff and blue buff, so even though I'm kind of missing health, Kane can pick up a long sword or something. I don't have the back here. I want to get this pushed. I don't want to steal his last hits, though. I just want the wave pushed so Corky can back and all that stuff. But I'm not quite sure what Kane's doing here. I guess he's just trying to get some essence real quick. I'll take my Gromp super fast with Smite, and then I'll look for a reset. Kane's going to be on my bot lane here in a moment i need to set up a way to escape so i'm going to stand close to this wall so yeah kane goes bot i'm going to smite this down i pinged out my bot lane so they seem to know i think kaisa end up having to heal there not a huge deal when you first back on diana we want to get as much attack speed as possible from nash because it sets up dragon it sets up dragon really really nicely we want to get the uh, recurve bow, the attack speed. You could also look for a boots dark seal. It's also very viable. Mej is a solid option on Diana, and you can leave it on dark seal for as long as you want. We don't even have to back. Since I'm still on red buff and blue buff, I'm not in a hurry. Red buff damage, blue buff cooldown reduction. There's no rush to really reset here. Krugs are coming in right now. And now we can put our E on cooldown because we don't really need it to be up. 
You never do that though. <laughs> like you never really want to put your E on full cooldown against champions. You only do it when you can no longer reach them with your autos or normal attacks. So you use your E to get in that extra bit of damage for your to get to them and then auto them to death. All right, so we're gonna pick up Nash, this, and more of the Nash control ward. We're good to go. Push out for drag. Most junglers don't want to take dragon pre six or pre full item or pre half item. You lose a lot of health and it takes a really long time. So likely he had, he's not doing it right now. We can just take it, get level six off of it. We're going to hit a really early um, level six since we've been farming so much. Diana full clear speed's kind of crazy. She's one of the fastest clears in the game because of her passive, which is why we are rushing Nash for the attack speed to synergize. And by staggering our abilities, Q, we let it sit for like two seconds and a half into E. We can almost perpetually stay attack speed sped up from passive. Very nice. This is not worth I was just checking. I wasn't sure if the control work could see the whole pit there. You see how we lost like almost all of our health there, even though we have the Nash and W spam. That's the crazy thing about dragons, man. If you don't have self healing, you will take a lot of damage from it. And ping out where the jungler probably is. Notice how I don't ping my teammates directly. Because you still need to let them make their own decisions. You're just trying to give them the information that you're trying to give them. So now, there's the king. He's level 6 with red buff. He's going to have to back off though. Kane's really weak early on. He needs a second form before he's actually like a good fighting champion. Kench is getting a lot out of this though. Pantheon kind of over roamed. Kench is going to get so much out of it. Auto attack E. Your E always puts you behind your target. So whether it's a monster or a champion, you can play around that knowing you're cutting off their escape route. Or just depending on how they're positioned, you can decide when you want to use your E. I don't really want to go top and fight Kench. Pantheon shouldn't have stayed bot for as long as he did. Kench got like three plates out of that. It's weird too because Pantheon was already winning lane, so there's really no reason for him to trade kills for plates like that. He could just stay top and keep killing Kench. And toss our Q over into E auto. Let our passive fade into a W. You can only really use your W once per camp anyways because the cooldown's so high. So by delaying your W, it's not like, oh, but you're taking more damage that way. You're really not. The cooldown's too high to use more than once per camp. Mm, this guy's backing off. I'll just ping out this. Kane's probably in that general area. I'll ghost for this. Get down a Q, E, W, auto R. Your R has more range than your auto, so if they're still within your auto range and you don't need to R them to like save your teammate or something, because your R is a pull, then you can just hold on to it. So once he was out of my auto attack range there, then I just pull him back in with R. So the whole time we're autoing him, there was never a point where, oh, I can't reach him now. Now we're just chasing. Because it was auto, R, auto. The R is an auto reset. And just auto. R pulls him back in and the next auto immediately starts. So we're not really wasting any time. If you E to a target that your Q hits, even if your Q hasn't landed yet, it'll still completely refresh your E. We're gonna go ahead and max our W second E last. Ooh, he took a bit of damage there. My E's on full cooldown, we don't really wanna fight this. Kane's here. That, that's why you generally don't wanna put your E on full cooldown. It's ridiculous how long it is. We can almost get Nash. We need to stick around till we do. Ours about to come off cooldown as well. I have no clue why Pantheon's still bot lane. Makes no sense. He's getting really fed, but our AD carry isn't. Pantheon falls off. It's just kind of weird. He's playing super bot lane heavy. Nice. Would like to do something bot here. Oh, it's a Victor support. Interesting. I've been seeing a lot of Victor in general lately. Not Victor support though. Get him with a QEW. Pull him back in with R. Rise, I'm about to get stunned. Smite. Down he goes. Ooh, I missed my Q on her. 
Nice try, bud. Whoa, what? Her art is 423. She's not even a full item. All right. I even dodged the zap. I did not expect that to kill. Holy moly. Jinx R. I got to reevaluate that. Because I know they did buff her relatively recently. I didn't know it did that type of damage, though. 423. My goodness. Got full Nash now. We'll go ahead and pick up Dark Sill. Then we'll push into Jack Show. Into Demonic. Now, this is actually a really tough game. This is gonna be very, very challenging to win with Jinx getting my shutdown and with um like Pantheon. I don't want to say he's trolling, but with him playing so kill heavy. Just running around only playing for kills, giving up turret for free. That sucks. They're all here right now. I need Kane to back. Is this warded or something? Like, why did Kane stay? Am I missing something here? Hey, friend. He doesn't have tier 2 boots. I'm gonna walk you down. Keep juking, keep juking. The jukes are too strong. I didn't even have to land Q because he jukes so much. Got the QE auto. Down she goes. I don't want to... Eh, someone shouldn't have taken that kill. It's whatever. People will do that a lot, though. When you have a skill shot on any champion and you're moving faster than they are. Like, I noticed he had tier 1 boots. I have tier 2. I knew for a fact I could run him down over time. I didn't... There, I never had to land my... Uh, I never had to land my skill shot there with my Q. I could literally just walk him down with autos. Because if he was going to run in a straight line, we hit him with Q for free. But if he jukes, we just walk him down him with autos. The closer you are with Q, the easier it is to land because it doesn't have a curb to it. Jeez, Sona's taking everything, man. I could have smited. I actually should have just in case. Jinx shot a rocket or something. AoE down the dragon off of me. When we see our Q's three seconds from cooldown, we pop our W there. What just happened? Pantheon's permadying top. He needs to go he should have gone for like cleaver rush or L LDR second or Bork Rush into Cleaver or something. He needs percent based damage. He doesn't have any of that. Gosh, Kane is so cringe. So cringe. That champ's so strong, man. We at least have double dragon. We got that going for us. We're going to eat in the minion, keep our attack speed up from passive. Block that down. I'm going to have to eat to get to him, but now I have nothing left. I don't know if I die here or not. I guess Pantheon's coming in, so I don't. Juked. Jinx is full stack, lethal tempo. Got it. You're dead. Down you go. I get a Dark Seal stack. Not sure where Kane is. I guess I could reset, but I don't want to. I want to finish my jungle item. R is about to be up as well. I don't want to reset 20 seconds on R. By the time you leave base, come back on the map. It takes about 20 seconds, so I'd rather just stay clear and use my R immediately. Green jungle item is almost done. I just need these few camps. Oh, cool. Kench took my red buff. Very cool. That's the thing. Even though Pantheon has more kills, it means nothing. He built the wrong items. If he went Bork Rush into like Divine or Bork Rush into like Black Cleaver, he would stomp Kench so hard with how he got kind of ahead early. But Eclipse is going to do nothing against a tank like that. Whoa, Corky went deep there. Don't know about that one. I'll go ahead and reset. There's nothing to gank with R. Absolutely nothing. We'll pick up Plated and... A big chunk of Jack Show. Their comp's so tough, man. Jinx scaling, Kane scaling, Vlad scaling. And then they have a Kench. Jinx, Kane, Vlad, Kench front line with Victor back line CC. And damage. Victor has pretty high base damage, even if he's not fed. What is like. Why? <laughs> Why, though? It's not like she's dying near her turret, she's dying being aggressive. Guess it makes sense why she was kill stealing me. She's just playing for kills. 
R is up. Vlad's pretty tanky though. There's not much of an opportunity there, I don't think. Auto attack into R. I did miss my Q, which is annoying. So I put my E on full cooldown there. Something about hitting this Victor with a Q. It's not easy to do. Hmm. Hopefully Kaisa doesn't die from that. She shouldn't be walking between the turret crack. Yep, she does die. Dang. Hey, Jinx. If I had R, I could kill her. I did get her flash at least. All these guys are being annoying. Where is my team? They're pushing mid. I'm not going to jump in and die for this. Just got to play it slow. They basically got a turret for free there. Kind of need objectives, not kills. They have more shutdown goals than we have. They have more gold as a team, even if we technically have more kills as a team. I'm gonna push this down since we're already here. Nice job, my team, pinching it up. Who is that? Oh, that's Kench. Now, that's a huge pinch. It's a really good fight for us. I didn't even see this guy. Where did he come from? Legit, wasn't even looking, man. <laughs> That's drag, though. That's huge. I'm going to hop over the wall. See if I can take some camps while I'm here. I want to take as much as I can. I have quite a bit more CS than the cane. Nice. I'm going to stay and kind of just collect everything. Take my little teleporter. Three drags. Raxol is definitely the win con here. Pantheon got Black Cleaver. That's good. Sona died. That's unfortunate. I'm going to go get that Scuttle Crab next. The more AP you get on Diana and the more attack speed you get, you get exponentially more value from your 300% bonus damage against monster passive. That's what you're starting to see. Even with kind of going tank item second off the jack show, which technically doesn't give us any attack speed or AP. Doesn't matter that much. Nash is all we need to rip through the camps faster than Kane can rip through his. We need LDR and Pantheon and Kaisa, Lord Dominic's regard for the percent based damage. Wait, why is this guy going in here? Is there something I'm not understanding about the situation? That was very strange. The enemies are all kind of pushing up, looking for a kill here. I do want to relay this ward, kind of. Oh, wow, he's going deep for that Sona. She turned on it. She shouldn't have, but it, it did turn out for her, surprisingly. I think this is warded. Oh, it is cool. Hey, friend. Found you. Pull him back in. Down you go. This Victor's so greedy, man. Zero respect. Bearing up in 26. I'm pushing to King Jungle while he's dead. Take as much as I can. I don't have much on the map to resist. Oh, my friend. Auto me. Do it. <laughs> I still have my E. Auto, auto, E, auto. Not bad. We'll take it. That's the funny thing about Jinx. Like, look at her items. She's like a full item and a half, right? Not including tier two boots. I'm a full item and a half. Not including, not including tier two boots, right? Like, we're the same items. Like, granted, we are a higher level, but it's mainly the champ diff at this power spike, at this item uh, window. We're just much, much stronger than she is. We can kill her solo and essentially take zero damage it's a funny thing about diana she's a mobile tanky burster shredder she's got it all because it's passive passive is burst and consistent shred because it's attack speed and literally burst it's both let's 
Kane's running around. He's taking minions. I could be on a ward here. I gotta be a little bit careful. I don't know what this guy thinks he's gonna do. I couldn't reach him with my E. He was dead if I had. I was gonna ER. He's about to lose his Krugs. Don't mind if I do. Corky has package. He should take that mid though. Why would you take a package into a solo fight? Package is an AoE weapon of mass destruction. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Got him with the QE right when he comes out. Or WQE, I should say. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. I don't know why Corky's over there. Those were good Jinx traps. Sona's late game is pretty scary. Sona's one of the best late game supports in the game. Super low skill floor. Very low skill expression. Just ma button mash perma. R to get to him. Down he goes. Jinx even flashed there. Didn't matter. Down goes the turret, and what are you guys fighting under? You don't have a turret anymore. <laughs> we focused it down with our high attack speed. We're using abilities while we're doing it, and they quit. I don't blame them. Diana's kind of cracked right now. She's one of the fastest clearing junglers in the game, one of the healthiest clearing junglers in the game with some of the best ganks in the game pre-6 and post-6. Very nutty champion. We'll go ahead and do a part two because this game was so short. I'll see you guys there. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two of Diana in the bunghole with Nash Rush up against a Maokai jungle. You don't see that much anymore. I wouldn't say it's nerfed to the ground, but it's certainly nerfed into kind of the lower mid-range of the jungle spectrum. He will make things a little bit difficult for me. And Yon, his amount of stickiness and CC. I think I'll be really, really strong versus uh, yeah, Irelia, though, with my R. Of all time, Diana R is going to cuck her pretty good. We can even pull her out of her dash if we do it right. Bop it with a cube, kite it towards bush. I like having uh, range champions leash. That way they don't get in the way and accidentally like take aggro awkwardly. This is already almost dead, and I had some passive still up, so I'm not going to smite this. There's no point. I'll attack E over. A little bit awkward. I wish we had like Hunter's Talisman burn. I don't like the jungle pets at all. Like aesthetically, like it's kind of nice in the sense of it looks cool, but it is really just clutter, but it's so much clunkier than Hunter's Talisman. That's my biggest gripe with it. Auto attack Q. Down she goes, got a point in W now. Actually, yeah, I went E this time instead of QW. I feel like QE is better if you're gonna start red into Krug so you can go over the wall. Whether you go like uh, QE or QW, it doesn't make that much of a difference. It'll just be a little bit squishier. But also the thing is the lore on health you are, the more you get healed when you kill a monster camp is the thing. We're gonna take this, come over. Q auto, E auto, W. It's crazy how Diana W basically blocks two full auto attacks. This character is absolutely nuts. Definitely one of my favorite AP carries. She's just, she's just a way better version of Echo pre-6. Echo doesn't truly start to outshine Diana till first full item, but by then, if Diana's built up a lead or something, it's kind of just over for Echo. So there's our full clear, did about a 312 this time. I think last time was more like a 310, but I still had smite charge. So last time it was definitely more efficient uh, going QW instead of QE. Because the last time I did QW off blue side. He's not going to be done as clear yet. Most strongers finish around 330. Diana finishes very, 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 very early. Pop the W to keep the passive up. We'll go mid. I still have red buff for a moment. He needs to just fight this here. I don't know why he doesn't trade with her, dude. I'm right here. If he's not going to trade with her now, he never will. Yeah, I don't know. He's just not going to trade. Yeah, she flashed super, super early there. 
That was way too slow played though by the Yon. Baiting out an Irelia is incredibly easy. I need a reset because I'm just leeching XP at this point. There's no point to stay for someone who doesn't actually want to gank. She gets the stun. This is looking like a bad fight. What do you know? He decides he wants to fight when I'm no longer there. Who would have guessed it might go poorly? Especially he has TP against Ignite. He wants to all in there. It's a bit sussy. Look to gank bot lane. They're pushed up. They haven't even backed yet, so they're kind of weak. Yeah, we'll go there right now. I don't think this is warded. Yeah, oh, yuck. Got with QEW. She doesn't have flash. It's already on cooldown. Ezreal's still following it down with his autos. What a goofball. We get that nice and low and continue our full clear. I figured they may not have flash since uh, Maokai ganked and Jinx died. Usually when stuff like that happens, enemies end up using their sums, or at least they should if your teammates use theirs. As long as your teammates aren't saving their sums for the next game. <laughs> Yon deciding he wants to fight all in. I'm just not going to bother ganking for him. I don't think he knows how to take ganks very well. I also ended up soaking a lot of XP, so I don't want to do that again. I'm only going to go there if I know I can kill her by myself. It's hard to say which lane is the win con. That girl is getting really, really fed, though. A lot of minions. We don't want to miss out on this. It's a whole wave. You do get reduced XP from minions, which is stupid as a jungler. Like, pre-14 minute mark. I used my E really awkwardly there. I need to use about a half a second sooner. I put it on full cooldown. Maokai's top side. He went Lucid's Rush for the gank spam. I'll be going back bot lane here. I'll get tier 2 boots. Spam out some ganks. I don't really know if I'm going to be able to cheese down drag this game. With how things are kind of going. Can I kill Olaf here? All he has is D-Blade, but it is an Olaf. He's also low mana, so maybe... You two of them get the R down. Wait, he's, why did he have R still? Auto, auto, Q, auto, auto. Down he goes. And he, yeah, he has tier two, so he'll slowly catch up to me. He, I don't get that, man. I don't get how people die when the enemies still have a core ability. Yet. I guess Maokai landed his CC, even though Fiora has her repost. You must have not landed it on anyone because you pointed it towards Olaf. I guess maybe he flashed it? That, that is possible. Alright, we'll pick up Recurve. We'll also go for... You know, we'll just go for Nash. We don't need Tier 2s here. You can go for Lucids or Swifties against their team. I f oh, it's such a hard call, man. I could see myself going Lucids for W spam. Or going Plated because Irelia, Olaf are their most fed. Their only AP is... It's mostly just the Zyre Maokai. All the lanes are kind of struggling right now, so we got to play clean and not make stupid mistakes. Zyra no boots, Ezreal no boots. It's good information. They don't have HP or magic resist either. I don't know if this is warded. I'm assuming it is. Hoping it's not, though. All right, there we go. Zyra popped R. Don't know how she's still out of R. Good bait by my AD carry. We still have an E to use. There it is. I'm going to have to... Wait, he doesn't have boots. Oh, God, I'm dead. Nope, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> that was actually really good. That was actually really good for Jinx to do. She saved my shutdown, whether she realized it or not. Maokai R. I didn't even know I really was rotating. I play with my teammates on mute unless I'm playing in... Basically GM plus because I hate their pings and their call outs. It's hard to think with so much clutter on my sh screen slash audio clutter. Mm. I might be able to stop it here. She's not full item yet. She invested into the lifestyle, which isn't very good in an all in fight to the death. It's more of a vampiric is more for like sustaining poke. 
or just for farming. Hmm. They're not on dragon right now, so it's kind of weird why they're playing so aggressive over there. Could go for the Olaf. He went grass for whatever reason. I don't know if that's a matchup dependent thing. He's been playing all right with it. I think grass with Olaf is terrible though. Olaf has really short base auto attack range. Like the melee auto attack range is 125 to 175. And then some champions are basically 200 like Shen off his empowered autos from Q. And you're going to say, oh, but that's an ability. Dude, almost every single one of Shen's autos when he fights with you are going to be empowered. So it's base. Shen basically just has 200 base auto range. Diana's at 150, which is solid. Having 125 really, really sucks. It's one of the most annoying things about playing Trindamere. Trindamere's auto attack range base is at 125 instead of 150. Just gonna push that wave up, I'd assume. Nope, she's not. I'm gonna ward it here, and we're chilling. Auto, auto, E, auto, auto. Dragon's gone. I can't fight for it. My mid lane is getting thrashed. Their Irelius fed. My Zerath's in base from death. Only take the fights. You're certain you're going to win. And if it turns out you don't win it, there's probably something you didn't calculate. You like you probably didn't check items or levels before the fight or something like that. I don't know if this is warded or not. He's not a full item though, and I do have Goose, so I can probably time out his R. And back for Nash as well. Fjord's full item, so she should be able to handle him. We'll pick up the Nash and we'll start building into, I'd say Plated or Lucid's here. It's a tough call. I could see it going either way. Olaf, a bit of true damage. I'm thinking about who I really is going to be attacking in a team fight. I feel like it's going to be me because our team lacks a front line, so I might just have to go for the Plated here. I'm not going to use a smite charge on this. We can clear super fast without. Plus, we can smite enemies at this point. There's a slow. It's going to help us land our Q when they're slowed. I'm just going to ghost early. I want to get behind these buttholes. Keep the tempo up so no one can react. In with my E. Auto him down. Get Q up. Take this down. Good job for my teammates for not dying there. They're going to back because they don't know where Maokai is. It's probably the best option. We'll shove this in and take a lot of plates for it. My 10 Dark Seal stacks. I really is missing it. If I don't see her, I'll start my recall. All right, we see her. We don't need to start recall. We have Empowered Recall as well, so it would be incredibly fast. So nice thing about Baron buff, or <laughs> Herald buff and Baron buff. Ooh, what am I doing? <gasps> that really hurt. Malachi's coming. He smells something stinky. Yeah, later, my dude. Not this time. Actually, I'll go mesh this game. Screw it. I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. We're going to go in 10 stack mesh. 10 stack mesh is faster than tier 2 boost right now, anyways. 10% movement speed. I think tier 2 boost gets us up to like 385. But with mesh, 10% bonus, we're at like 407. So we're quite a bit faster with mesh. And of course, we can still get tier 2 boosts. I can't afford them right now is all. They needed to slow down their skill shots a bit. Oh. Down goes Yon. There's too much crap here. It's going to be triple warded up. Irelia is borked. There's a very strong chance this area is warded. All she has is borked D-blade. I might be able to do this underneath turret. If she's if she didn't react fast like if she was looking on the map she's put clearly like on lock screen most likely there she saw me instantly but if she's looking elsewhere we, we could have like gotten in with a qer sucked her in the whole wave would have died from my aoe and then obviously she sucked in so she dies underneath turret get another point w i gotta go bot lane here awkward pathing i should have used herald Wait, you want to use it before 14 minute mark because that's when plates fall off. Malachi is going to stay because he's like, I want their plate, baby. He doesn't actually have a full item, though. I can kill them both here. Just got to get on the Zyra. If it's warded, though, if they start running, I can't fight it. Zyra R, Zyra plants. Oh, it's warded. You better believe it. Oh. 
Hey, friend. E, get the R in. Smiter down. E to finish. You're dead, too. Goodbye. I had full stack conquer, so I had a lot of extra AP there. I'm at 259. And then once my conquer fully fades, I'm at 219. So I was getting, like, almost 40 AP there. Good and lay Herald before it's too late. Mesh is going to be the, one of the only ways to carry this game. If you're playing clean and if you're building a lead, regardless of how your teammates are playing, you have a very... Oof. That was good. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, that was good that Yon did that because Irelia is a little crap head set trying to set up that kill on me she would have gotten a thousand gold yo and doing that even though he's behind him saving me there that's gonna make this game so much easier olaf is not a full item but he is still olaf so we have to respect that dragon up in 15 i could back here olaf didn't stay so i might as well well we do need to go for plated after what i really just did that was disgusting Pick up some more of this, a little bit of this. Need my teammates to stall this down. Irelia is only on a Bork right now and plated mainly. We just need to pay attention to her fervor and lethal tempo before a fight to know how much damage she's going to be doing. So right now she has zero fervor. As you can see, it's just blank doth instead of yellow or whatever. So, yeah, she has got nothing. I think they're on this right now. Uh, they're really pushing for this. I think she flashed my Q. I'm not sure because it went on full cooldown. I'm going to stalk her in. I don't have my E's the thing. Oh, you're dead. You don't have your flash. I'm on ghost extensions as well, so Maokai's in trouble. Oh, he barely got it. He kind of panicked with this flash a little bit. QE. Down he goes. I'm full stack mesh. Even though they got that drag, we play for the next one. My smite was on cooldown. Nice. I'll actually catch this wave here, I think. That's the move. To get this wave pushing, then I can collapse on it and kill it here in a moment. So we'll let our wave reinforce and push up. I'm I was already here. It only cost me a few seconds. Might as well, right? We're behind the Ezreal. I'm full health. Use tier one boots, we can run him down. Hey friend, got your flash. Yeah, I, I guess I could let Yon have this. I'm just gonna, well, I guess I don't need to run. I didn't see where I really was and it was making me very, very nervous. Since I didn't know where she was at, she does so much damage now that I know. We're chilling. We're crushing a couple of E-daters here. We got uh, I miss her and I miss him. So we got a couple of chumps. <laughs> got a couple of two pump chumps we got to put in the trash real quick. Dragging up in 3 minute 30. We're going to be playing heavy for that. Can I go top and kill Olaf? He has Ravenous and he's Olaf. So I wouldn't want to until I have heal cut. Olaf heals like crazy. Yeah, I'll just full clear down. That's fine. I don't need to reset. Jack Show isn't going to speed up my clear speed. I can already solo anyone in the game. So there's no reason for me to back up all the camps are up. The Yon doesn't know where to go. He doesn't really have anywhere to go right now. My team is relying on me to go somewhere for us to do stuff. I have pretty much all the gold right now. This game is hinging on me staying alive. Because if the enemy team kills me, it wants to get a thousand gold. And their comp scales really well, actually. Ezreal outranges Jinx in theory. Zyra. Very similar range to the Zerath. Why are we randomly fighting? Like, we're not even dying underneath turret. We're dying out there. So you can't, like, ping me and say, Well, you weren't here. You guys are fighting them away from turret. 
They're fighting very far away from turret there. It's time to back spend our 3k. Got Jack Show. We'll go for uh, this item right now. I will say we could go Rabadon. It's very rare you'll see Diana Jungle push for Raba because she ends up getting so much tanky crap in the middle part of her build. With 25 stack Mej, even with Jack Show giving zero AP, we can justify it. Because this is giving 145 AP right now. Not including the other stats. So, yeah, we could definitely push Rob at this game and it wouldn't be trolling. We'll go mid. Why are they up so far? Alright. They're just coin flipping it. Flip to win. Flip them burgers, baby. Nice and juicy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, bot laners flip more than... Uh, it's about the same as tops. Top and bot love to flip. I feel like mid laners do a better job staying alive, but they are closer to their turret for most of the game. We need to time out his R. I might have to ghost to win this fight. He's not. He doesn't know that I know he's here. Oh, never mind. He knows. I'm gonna smite him. Eh, I still don't want to do it because it's Olaf. It's so sussy, man. As weird as it sounds, because I'm so much more fed than he is. I'm up like 4k gold. It's Olaf, bro. It's Olaf. Wait, Zyra is here. Why is Zyra over here? Zyra and Malachi both went top expecting me to stay kill, like greed for the kill. We need dragon. We don't want them to set up assault. We're at 197 CS. If I full clear down, I could have more than like 10 per minute. Nice. Oh, hey, friend. So someone just panic flashed on their team. I didn't see really see who it was, but someone did flash there. Hey, Irelia. I'm going to smite you, hit you with the Q. Pull you in. And down you go. Hit the QE. I'm on ghost extensions. Ooh, that was a good job by the Fiora. Hey, friend, I'm on ghost. And now I have even more ghost. S Skadoosh. Goodbye, Olaf. Oh, I actually have a Herald I need to lay. That's what I mean. Like, killing Olaf is actually such a pain in the butt. You can't see Sam, and he's healing so much from passive and W. And that's it. They quit. All in all, Diane Jungle right now is nutty, guys. Just build Nash. Rush that juicy mash. Let's look at damage dealt damage taken in runes. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we weren't even the most in the game. Feels bad. Zerath had more from poking, and I really had more from smacking Yone in the mouth. And then <laughs> for damage taken. Honestly, our damage dealt damage taken in this game wasn't impressive. I feel like if the game lasted a little bit longer, we would have started to see a separation. It just wasn't long enough. And then for runes, high value. All in all, Diana Jungle, Nutty, and the Buddy. Definitely pick it up. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel heaps. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.